So a lot of digging of uh, beautiful compost. This is from our field up above. This is a mixture of straw, wood chip and manure, horse, sheep and alpaca. So I'm putting it in these bins and then you can see my plantation here of trees and cuttings and young trees, strawberries, all kinds of things here. But I'm lifting them over this step because sadly that step's there, but we want to keep that because one day I'm going to redo the, this was the peach house, my grandfather called it, because there were peach trees espaliered along that wall. So one day hopefully I'll be able to do that, re-put this back up, and then the doorway will be there and you'll be able to wheelbarrow stuff in. So at the moment, what I'm doing is filling up these wonderful old water tanks that used to be in houses. So the bottom I fill up with this really rich compost and then I plant my tomatoes and put the bamboo canes in. Here are the cucumbers all set and ready with their trellises. I have to set up another trellis right there for these cucumbers here. So slowly but surely, the vine house is turning into food production, not a lovely place to have tea with friends in the winter. Some more of these potted plants are gonna have to exit, like this is gonna have to exit and the sister of that one is gonna have to exit. Now these are here, these are excellent. What they do is they prevent green fly from going on my tomatoes. So there are my tomatoes. I'm planting with marigolds. Oh, this is my um, lemon tree. And those flowers there just smell delicious. Look, look, baby lemon. So I'll be able to have gin and tonics with fresh lemon or Hendrix gin and tonics with fresh cucumber this summer. So looking forward to that. Here's more tomatoes. But um, this flower, the wonderful thing is, it seduces green fly. You can see this is polluted with green fly and it keeps the green fly, there's loads more green fly there. It keeps the green fly away from all my other plants. I need to um, plant some more of it uh, uh, ASAP. So those are, keep the pests away from my tomato plants. This was a gift. This tomato is much further along. This was given to me by a friend, so I'm looking forward to this one. I love these. I got these at a uh, plant fair recently, but I could only afford a few of them. And what I love about them is, if you look here, they have a double prong on the bottom, not just one prong. So it's perfect for holding up tomatoes, but I'm going to have to remain the old fashioned bamboo version because I don't have enough of them. So piece by piece, little by little, my food production is growing. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, and I forgot to show you. <gasps> the vine has vine has it's baby grapes. Look at that, baby grapes, yay! So the vine is finally producing grapes, but I think it had to take a couple of years to for it to have customized, well, one year, because this roof was not on last year. This roof was not on till later this month, last year. So yeah, busy, busy, busy times ahead.